What's going on, adventurers? Today, we have something a little bit different in store for you guys. We thought you might find it interesting and fun. So we thought we would do this and see how you guys like it. So please leave us a comment. You like it. You didn't like it. You don't know how you feel about it until you see a couple more. Just let us know. But what we're going to be doing today is actually having one of you guys as a guest telling us your paranormal story. So uh, this is Bo. He actually saw one of our live streams and his mother made contact with him through our spirit box. So he decided to reach out to us and share his paranormal story with us about his haunted house. And we're going to go ahead and start the interview. Let's do it, guys. Okay, everyone. So we want you to meet Bo. He actually was in our chat one evening and reached out to us and he said he had a story of the paranormal activity in his home. So we're going to let him go ahead and share that story with you right now. And Bo, thank you so much for telling us your story. We appreciate it. You're welcome. And uh, with the uh, paranormal activity that has been happening within my house uh, since I bought it uh, three months ago uh, now, and uh, uh, I've witnessed uh, tapping on the, my bedroom bedroom wall uh, I want to say about three, four times a week. Wow. And then, and then uh, along with uh, footsteps within the, my kitchen, the dining room, and living room area, it's all sort of like combined into one open area. And uh, I've been uh, hearing that practically every single night. And uh, uh, so I, every night I would have to check if someone actually was actually in my place, but no one would be here. Wow, that's crazy. And uh, and with uh, that type of activity, it it generally sounded like someone was walking, like with heavy, sort of like with boots in a way. Okay. Uh, just walking on through uh, the house, and uh, and I could pinpoint exactly where they were standing and uh, within the living room and. All of that, just okay. by where the footsteps were uh, leading up to, and then on top of that, I've also uh, uh, heard uh, uh, something uh, like fall out of my cabinet. Wow! Uh, here within the, my kitchen, and when I heard that, uh, I of course came out to uh, investigate it, but nothing uh, was on the floor. Uh, or on the counters that fell off, or anything of that sort, and uh, and none uh, of the cabinets were open at that particular time when I came out. And you know those like um, uh, cast iron skillets? Yes. Uh, it sounded like uh, it was a couple of those that fell off off the counter and onto the floor. That's loud. That is loud. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It it was that loud. And it wasn't like like counter height. It was like those cabinets that were up above, just like this one wow. behind me. Okay. It it came out. Of, it fell off. Fell out uh, off that type of height. Wow. Uh, of just on the, how loud it was. And then on top of that, I did uh, do a recording on one of those recording devices. Uh huh. And uh, for about like an hour ish, and it, through throughout the uh, um, recording, I have heard the uh, footsteps uh, within my uh, uh, house, uh, my dishwasher going, <laughs> along with uh, some type of like uh, whisper or some talking. Okay, I was wondering that. I was wondering if you're hearing any voice, like audible voices. And and during that that recording, I also heard people talking and uh, just like I want to say like one word here, maybe in a sense there type thing. Oh wow! But I really couldn't uh, fully uh, pinpoint on what they were saying uh, because it was so uh, low and sort of muffled in a way. Now, and, have you uh, ever, have you felt threatened at all? Do you feel like it's a threatening presence? 
Um, there has been a couple of couple moments okay. that uh, I have felt threatened in a way uh, because there was this one moment when I was I just lay down and I want to say within uh, like within two minutes uh, I heard this growl. Oh, that's scary! Right, right in my ear. Wow! And it was like it was in my left ear, and it. Hmm. Typically, from what I understand, uh, uh, people really don't hear that type of stuff. Yeah, not usually. Uh, with their own ears. No. Uh, but uh, with this particular one, uh, I did. And uh, so that really concerned me on uh, like how strong the presence is uh, for me to actually hear that with my own ears. Right. And uh, then on the top of that, uh, I have a dream catcher okay. uh, in uh, my bedroom. And there's no vents uh, nearby. My All my windows in my bedroom are closed and everything. Somehow or another, uh, the uh, dream catcher was moving. Oh, wow. It was like twisting back and forth. And, uh, and the feathers on the bottom. Uh, part of it uh, was uh, more or less it was um, swaying back and forth. Hmm. Uh, definitely uh, some energy. Some energy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then on on top of that, I also had a vision while I was uh, taking a nap on out here in the living room, and uh, the vision was of a uh, like a a uh, shadow figure in a way. Okay. And uh, I only could see uh, only uh, from the waist down. Oh, wow. That's and, weird. Uh, and uh, and it was, you know, those uh, black jeans with chains? Yeah. And it was uh, those type of pants that I seen. Hmm. And I, and I could hear the chains, the chains moving around and the, uh, and all that, and it was coming towards me. Ooh. Wow! Uh, within the vision, and the vision, I was uh, in that same chair mm-hmm. too. And uh, then I want to say about a week later, I had a, a friend of mine over uh, here, uh, and he was in the, my spare bedroom. And uh, he uh, woke up about, I think he said around between three and. 3.15 in the morning. Okay. And uh, and he uh, had his bedroom door open, and he uh, looked uh, down towards my uh, bedroom, and uh, he seen a, uh, the same shadow figure really? at my door. At my door. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And it was a full figure one oh. that he seen. And, have you, uh, and have you course, tried to set up a camera yet to see if you could catch them on camera? Um, I did try to set up a camera uh, one time, but the uh, uh, video quality wasn't that good. That happens a lot of time when you do um, get a paranormal presence. Yeah, and uh, it was mainly because uh, the, it was too dark. Okay. Uh, and uh, so I'm, I've been trying to find a camera that would work uh, for night vision type stuff. Right. Uh, so that is sort of, sort of holding me back mm-hmm. on actually filming that that aspect. Uh, but I do have a camera that I did take a few pictures with. Okay. Were you and, able to catch anything? Yes. Awesome. I was, I was able to catch a, an orb. Okay. And it was a blue orb. All right. Uh, that and it was in my bedroom that I caught it in. Oh wow! And uh, and I was uh, going through all my photos, and uh, that uh, uh, popped out at me. Wow, that's good. And, that's a good catch. Yeah, and then uh, I also took another photo, uh, and uh, I did see somewhat of a face uh, in the, my master bathroom. Okay. Uh, and uh, but it was I was in the living room and I took a, a picture towards my bedroom 
and then my master bathroom was also in the frame as well. And it was within the doorway. Okay. Uh, wow. And all that, so, so I was able to catch that. And uh, then also another moment that I had, uh, I have I have fishing bells, uh, and I equipped a couple of them throughout the house. And uh, the one in the living room uh, went off one night. Wow. And, uh, and it went off for about, I want to say, five seconds hmm. or so. And uh, But no one was there uh, in the in the uh, trailer house at all. That's crazy. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's what I have uh, personally have experienced so far. And uh, and this uh, isn't the first time that I've experienced uh, paranormal activity. Okay, so uh, you're kind of a spirit magnet. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so at and, one point you did have a, a priest come out to bless the house, right? Yes, I okay. did. So what was the breaking point? What what made you decide that, um, you know, I definitely need to have this addressed? Uh, it was uh, my second dream okay. that I had. Or not really dream. It was more of a nightmare. Okay. Uh, yeah, that'll do and, it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, this particular nightmare that I had, uh, it turned out to be uh, to start out as a dream. Uh, and uh, And... My hometown football team was coming to the area uh, to play uh, uh, a game against another team. Uh, so I went and uh, decided to go and watch uh, the team and everything, play and all that. I had dinner with them and all that, with the coaches and all that. Due to that, I uh, personally knew them and all that. And then afterwards, I went to this one house uh, and for some reason, I was filming everything in there, and I just had an, a really odd feeling about the house. And uh, then, uh, out of nowhere, these two dolls that I seen uh, were uh, talking with one another uh, and uh, messing around with their hair. Hmm. Uh, and uh, and you you know those uh, scary like clown dolls that or those. Um, uh, porcelain like, doll. So, uh, we call it por- no. no, not those no. ones. Uh, it was no. a, the porcelain dolls. Oh, sort of okay. like what, yeah. Yeah. Okay. sort of like what Miss Patty has. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with Beth and all that. Okay. It's, it was one of those. Oh okay. wow! Okay. So they were and big. Uh, uh, it wasn't uh, that size of big. It was of uh, the smaller sizes. Okay. Of them and uh, and they were talking and and all that and they looked at me and uh, then they just froze out of nowhere hmm. and uh, then that's when I came uh, uh, back to uh, from uh, my deep sleep and everything and and that was pretty much uh, my breaking point of <laughs> uh, want someone to come out scary here. Scary dolls. Wow. <laughs> I'll get you. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, and when it gets to that point that uh, they're with me, I think I believe that they uh, uh, can uh, man- manipulate uh, dreams mm-hmm. in a way. Absolutely. Uh, so so uh, when uh, I had that experience, it was like, no, nope, I'm yeah. not having this uh, whatsoever. And uh, uh, one other place that I that I was at, uh, this, was, this was like, eight, nine years ago now. And uh, I was actually, uh, that place was also haunted, and uh, I actually was touched. Really? Uh, by, by a spirit. Okay. That's a little creepy when uh, that happens. It's happened to us a couple times. So. Yeah. We know where you're coming from with that. <laughs> I guess that makes yeah, it real. It does, yeah. It really does. And with this place, I have also have heard uh, uh, legends about this trailer park that I'm currently in. Oh, really? Yes. This is what I've heard, but I've not confirmed it with anyone. Uh, I've heard that there is a tunnel that goes underneath the park. And uh, and they used to do uh, uh, sacrifices. Oh, wow. And, uh, and uh, uh, like those like 
um, uh, what should I call it? It was sort of like a, uh, what's the name now? <laughs> oh, they, uh, with like the candles and. Oh, okay. Um, uh, seances. Uh, yes, stuff. that's what like, I'm. Okay. Yeah, and the, that's what I heard of what they did down there. Oh, wow. Uh, underneath the trailer park. So, wow, that's crazy. You think it's still yeah. there? The, the tunnels, are they still there? I'm not quite sure if it, they're still there or not. So uh, so I, I really haven't uh, confirmed it or denied it uh, that okay. they're still there or not. And uh, uh, there's also like a state park that this trailer park uh, is up, up against. And uh, with this trailer or with that uh, state park, uh, I did go walk walking through uh, some of it on the uh, my end of it, and uh, I did get that creepy vibe out, out of it. Mm, okay, uh, that something uh, of that sort did happen here, uh, but uh, I really don't fully know. So, and that's what. Uh, I've heard uh, from a couple of different people within the trailer park. Okay. And uh, and that's pretty much all the stuff that I've heard and experienced uh, so far within the three months that I've been here. Wow. Uh, that's but, all that's happened in three months. That's that's a lot of things that happen in, in such a short time. Yeah. Uh, so you the, so when you had the house blessed, um, what what happened? I guess during and then like right afterwards. Like how how are things going now? Uh, now uh, things are going a lot better. Okay. Uh, and it's been uh, three weeks now uh, since I got the place the place blessed. Uh, so the la- that first week it was rough and everything and uh, uh, just because of uh, I think you got you guys said that there are there were some uh, could be some re- residual. Uh, yeah. stuff and uh uh so i think that would that's what i was experiencing some uh, especially uh, down on the, the other end of my trailer uh, by my spare bedroom area okay because that, that was uh, some uh, of the stuff that was happening was down there as well and that, that was the uh the biggest area that i didn't feel the most comfortable being in. Okay. And uh, and and I had that presence, or I I felt that presence of a of a dark spirit. Okay, well that's good that you can sense that. That that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, so, but now since then, I have not felt that any of that type of stuff uh, since uh, the blessing. So, in that's which great. I am I am glad about that. And uh, uh, I've only had maybe two maybe two maybe three experiences experiences since then okay and none of, none of that felt threatening no none oh, of that good. felt threatening good that's good the, news yeah <laughs> and the and the reason why i say that is because each time that that i felt his presence it felt more like uh, my mother was here oh good yeah and okay. because my my mom my mother passed away twelve years ago this month. Oh, I'm so sorry and, to hear that. Oh, wow. Thank you. And uh, maybe she's protecting you yeah. too. Yeah, that's that does what. Happen. Yeah, that's what I believe. Uh, quite a bit. Uh, just because of a lot of a lot of the stuff that I've been through mm-hmm. uh, since mm-hmm. she passed away. Uh, it's a miracle that I'm still here. Wow. And. Uh, and for example, uh, just a little over a year ago, uh, I was in a severe car accident. Oh wow! And uh, in, in which uh, she was taking me and uh, my best friend's life. Mm-hmm. And uh, but both of us, both of us are here. Uh, one, my best friend uh, only got uh, minor in minor scars and uh, bruising, and uh, and I did get more of the severe end of it. But I uh, uh, pushed through it and uh, I got uh, some help through uh, a, a surgery that had 
that they had to do and all that. But I believe that my mother was there. That's amazing. To slow down the vehicle quite a bit. Oh, man. So, right. Okay. Yeah. It yeah. protected you. Yeah. And you must have some you must have some guardian angels working over time too. You're supposed yeah. to Yeah. Big time. Yeah. It sounds like um, your mom was work looking out for you for sure. Yeah. And uh oh, uh, I remember one night, uh, I think it was the uh, either the first night that I wasn't the live stream or a few live streams in. Uh, I did ask if uh, my mother was watching over me and uh, and it uh the, my I think my mother came through and saying yes. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. And it was more of that uh, sassy type of yes <laughs> that came through. That's her so, personality. <laughs> yeah, it's more okay. of her personality. <laughs> uh, it's funny, uh, you know, that happens a lot of times. Like people will say, oh, that's definitely them. That's definitely them. Yeah. You know, we wouldn't know, but, you know, you guys, you know, whoever the relative is would know for sure that that's them. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool how they convey that. Yeah, and uh, uh, so it was, uh, it's been nice having her uh, uh, pretty much uh, be here with me. Yeah, definitely. Uh, to uh, to uh, pretty much keep me safe here and or wherever I go. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Did the priest the, give you any indication when the priest was there as far as uh, anything that they sent or that? particular person that priest sensed in the house, do they pick up on that as well, or do they just basically go through a ritual? Um, it was more of like a ritual type of thing, uh, more of like a a step-by-step -step type okay. thing. Okay. And, uh, and he did say that he could sense a few different spirits here. Oh, okay. Uh, so, and, uh, but he uh, didn't really go into detail on the uh, uh, what type of spirits were here. Mm -hmm. So, and I know that the previous owner of this house uh, passed away. Oh, okay. Um, a couple of months prior of me buying. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. So, so I think that one of the spirits was her uh, being, being here just to make sure that whoever bought the house was going, going to keep it safe and mm -hmm. and all that and then uh, and of course my mother and was here uh, but i wasn't quite sure on who else or what type of other en entities were here right right and uh, and i know that there was like one evil one just because of uh the just the sensing of that presence and the, that growl that i heard yeah, yeah the growl and and I would say the yeah. the dreams too. Yeah. yeah. Um that sounded pretty dark. So Yeah. And uh, and especially with my uh, friend uh that had seen a full shadow figure. Right. Uh down on the uh, my end. Right. So and the, and the, it was standing by my door but it wouldn't cross over that door whatsoever. And the mm -hmm. uh, and it, it, just, it just turned back around and uh, went back you know, towards the spare bedroom. Wow. Uh, now you're being so. protected in, in your, if yeah. you're in there. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't want to get into a <laughs> spiritual altercation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scared it away. Good yeah. That's, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Right. And it sounded like it bothered you before in your bedroom, but then something yeah. changed. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It does seem like that. That it did. I know it has bothered me in the, my bedroom before. Right. Uh, but for some odd reason, that particular night, it wouldn't uh, cross mm -hmm. over that door or that right. line. Right. That particular night. Yeah, and but and we the, appreciate you taking the time to talk to us and reaching out to us and everything. And hopefully, we'll see you yeah. in our chats and the live streams and stuff. And uh, have a wonderful evening. And you uh, too. And thank you. And stay safe out there. Okay. All right. Thanks, Bo. Yeah. Have a good Welcome. one. Take care. Thank you. Right. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, we hope you guys had as much fun as we did today. This was a little different for us, but we did really enjoy it. And it's always fun to hear people's stories. That's what gets people interested in the paranormal is to hear firsthand accounts. 
of what has happened in other people's lives and how it's affected them. So we hope you guys enjoyed it. We did. And we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.